So this is how I presented myself at the event and I was the only one that was wearing a mask. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Pauline G. Lee and on my channel I inspire people to refashion old or even new clothing. So if you are into that sort of thing, then definitely think about subscribing. And for those of you who haven't quite subscribed yet, then there's still time. So, I decided to bring back, oh I'm sorry, I am blurring out here, isn't it? Yeah, white wrap, but I might, yeah, it's not quite good, I'm sorry about this. Um, so I'm bringing back my outfits of the week. I want to inspire you and share ideas and tips and tricks about how I put my refashioning um, clothing together, including what I've also made from scratch. So, what I am wearing is this lovely top, it's been refashioned, and what I did was I took the sleeves off and made this shoulder detail that's happening here, which is amazing, and also the top as well is also a refashion project. I did this about three years ago, three or four years ago this project, and I still wear it today, still love it. The only difference is, it's a split seam, and I do have video tutorials to this, and I'll put those links in the description. And um, so this would have been totally opened. Um, but what I did, I just put a little tack just there, just to revive it again, because I haven't worn it in a while, but it has had it has had a lot of wear. Yeah, so I probably have to make another one. Um, um, either refashion and another blouse, which I'll do anyway, but I know I'll keep this for many years to come just to give it a new, a new you know, you know, a new take on the split C so you don't see as much as my arm as before, which I love. And it has slits on the side, it's quite a long top. And the pants, I'll say this time, <laughs> is what I have designed, pattern drafted, and also so. And it has pockets, inseam pockets. There we go. In C. And yeah, I love the base pocket. I've got a zipper pair of um, straps as well, like this. And these are viscous, viscous, and they've also got at the hem uh, a facing. A facing. If you're working with fabrics that are a bit flowy and you want them to have a little bit more structure or not to be so flowy around the your you foot um, or your footwear because you have to be careful because these are quite long they are almost touching the floor if not touching the floor and you have to be really careful because um, you could have an accident so yes so i wouldn't necessarily wear it like this because it's cutting me in half and I, i've got a very straight <laughs> body shape <laughs> it's just rectangular i wish i had good that's probably one of the reasons I wear belts um, quite a lot. So I would actually, I've got the to top hanging out here, and then I would do the half top thing on this one. Oh, there we go. It's gorgeous. And then I put my hands in my pocket, and there's the look. Now, in order for me to finish off this look, I will be wearing it with my clutch. I've had this club for many years and I love it. I'll have it for many years yet to come. And yeah, this is how I'll wear it. This is the completed look. So I've got black and silver jewellery on, my silver dangly earrings, and also black rings, and the brooch here. <laughs> the brooch is it's, it's, it's a full brooch, let me show you. I just tucked it into the pocket. So it's just like peering out of the pocket. The sort of thing that I do. Yeah. Just to give it a bit of like, it's like a room, isn't it? What's it actually doing, sort of thing? <laughs> but yeah, that's my outfit for today. My outfit for today. Ooh. It's this dress. These sleeves. What did you call it? I can't remember. It's a slip on, yeah, slip on sleeve, I think I called it. 
and oh it's just so gorgeous this is the first time i'm wearing it since i rebrushed it a few weeks ago <gasps> it turned out exceptionally well now this is a whole top and i managed to get two items out of this top so this is the dress and not the whole dress just the sleeve and i'm going to show you something in a minute um and you know a couple of details and the top part to this became um a feature on a t-shirt but oh, i'll wear that at some other point but let's focus on this because it's gorgeous so i've taped it with a coat i didn't make a coat um, but it has been refashioned because i've taken away the sleeves and one of the reasons why i like this coat is because of these pockets this is it then we'll look at this one these um, the work ones here are I just, I just like the shape I'm contemplating whether or not it really goes with this but when it's closed because it's got hidden, hidden buttons um, it's gorgeous and it's very structured even though the sleeves are softening my look to the dress well that is nice so let me just unbutton so I can show you the top now I used every bit of this original top and um, what I didn't manage to finish when I was doing the tutorial which I'm going to show you now is this this little rosette which was leftover scraps you know, this is a leftover scraps um, and I'm trying to do my best to use the whole of any garments and then refashioning and this was the last bit of scrap so I managed to get this little rose there they balance it out with this little frill detail here and the sleeves <gasps> it's just gorgeous so that's my outfit for today I'm going to team it with the clutch I wore yesterday which is this one so I think you really got to do well Double strap shoes that I've got ages and ages, many many years, and which are kind of square toed before the fashion of square toes came in. It's a couple of seasons ago, but I've had these for years. So I'll show you those in a moment. But that's my outfit for today. Now, this is a crossover top. I do have a video tutorial on how to create this, but I may of these tops as well as you may or may not know and I usually use men's shirts so I have about four where I use women's blouses the effects are a bit different from, from each one this is a bit more um, of a fitted blouse so the crossover and the gathering and the folds are not happening around this area that I love that you will achieve with a man's shirt especially if it's a, a larger size man's shirt but it's still quite effective it is still quite effective so I haven't been, I'm not wearing anything that I've actually from the CGL collection and you know what that means and um, so it's a refashioned blouse the skirt is a pleated, pleated skirt and it's not quite white black well it is black not quite white because um, it doesn't have a white hole in it but I can see it's white with a hole in it and yeah, so I've got my sleeve poking out the end, the polo neck, which I think is lovely. And I'll show you the skirt. So here is the skirt. So I'm wearing a white belt that I've tied into a knot. Um, I've got, got this trick here where, because it doesn't, yeah, it's it makes it look a bit more, um, different, let's say, when you tie it in this fashion. Yeah, it's cute. You can see the crossover that's happening here. And the pleats to the skirt. She's got, it, it has a slitter, so it's great when you walk in, you can see the, the length of your boots, which is great. So I just love that. And then these 
seen it with a man's jacket. An oversized man's jacket. It's not raining today, which is good. It's not. It's excellent. I'm actually going out today. And I'm going to be using my clutch video tutorial on this as well. So, yeah, it feels okay actually. And with the back of that, I've got the. What did I use now? I can't remember. Placemats. Yeah. So it, it feels like it feels pretty firm. So I like that. So I'm back as well. And like this. And I'm also wearing a mask. So I made this mask myself. I'll just put the back down. But it's a bit of an experimental mask in the sense of how I'm going to, not, not the construction, but in how I'm making it up. And it's about the weave. So I'm testing this out. So yeah, I'm going to be in a, a room with quite a few people, so I'm wearing my mask. And then I'm at another event tomorrow as well, so, so that's how I look for today. I'm back to the jacket. I've actually just come back home. Um, I was at a business seminar um, locally to where I live. Um, and I got so many compliments, it was, it was untrue. Actually, people thought this was a jacket that I either purchased or perhaps, you know, even made. And they just loved the jacket. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you very much. You know, there's about three or four people that actually said that to me. I said, oh, by the way, the jacket's back to front. Okay. Back to front, what do you mean? So I turned around and I go, I just refashioned it. And they were like, really? Well, it's just one button. So yes, and it works. It's comfortable. It stayed in position. So it's amazing. It's love it. It will get worn a lot. So I'll tell you what I'm wearing. I've got some pants on here that I made years ago. They're a lot longer. I've shortened them. Um, a bit of an experimentation with the shortening of them because they're quite thick at the bottom, um, which I really would recommend. But um, I'm trying not to cut away anything if I can. But you know, it's Shoes on with black silk, so it's a black and white theme. I'm trying to continue with today. I also wore my mask, hence the reason I'm wearing no lipstick. So, this is how I presented myself at the event, and I was the only one that was wearing a mask in the whole of the building. Okay, enough set. And this is the bag I went for. And I chose this bag because of the pacing that's in my in, in my belt. Well, it's only part of the pacing, the rest of it's elastic. elastic. I, I do have a little bit that I think I would prefer to wear this more often than not. Um, but um, that's the reason why I chose that. And I've just got a small bag that I just latched onto <laughs> this. And yeah, that's it. I'll show you the bottom half of me. in there as well. 
So it just gives it a, a bit of a, a, what, what's the word? Oh, I can't remember. I can a full look to the hemline of the, of the blues on. That's the word, a blues on effect. Um, so yeah, I, I, I put a brooch on here. I wore this earlier in the week where I had it in a pocket, but I don't think it looks, because the pockets are quite low here. I probably will do actually. Next time I wear it, I'll do the pocket up now. So I've got a black brooch there, and black and silver earrings, black bracelet. I'm not sure if this ribbon is meant to be there though. I'm not sure if it's a clip or where maybe it is, I don't know. But I do like that. And yes, I'm wearing a black choker, and that match it with that spell, but this is velvet. And the bag that I'm going to show you, which I'll show you now actually, is this one. You've seen it, I've worn it quite a few times. Um, so I'm wearing this with that over the shoulder, you know, my sleeves up so that I look cool. Um, the earrings, these are iron worker ones. Um, these, were, these were just round ones and I added these tassels here myself. Um, I twisted my hair last night, so I just put it into a little bit of a bun at the back so I can bring the attention to my earrings and the shoes I'm wearing, I'm wearing a pair of wedges so I'll bring the camera down so you can have a look at the look back. So I'm more than likely will wear my handbag down here like this as I'm walking. So this is how I would actually carry my bag rather than on my shoulder. Um, so the tip is really that if you've got a lot going on here, you don't really want to add to it really by adding something else. You know, it doesn't look too bad. I personally would think that it, if you don't, because some people prefer to wear their handbags on their shoulders, and because um, it's quite a short strap as well, that it, it causes a balance when you actually just carry it in your hand, like so. if me doing my outfits of the week is going to be really helpful because I do want to share with you how you can put your refashioning garments together together whether it's a refashioned from head to toe or whether it's a refashion project that you wear or something that you made from scratch or something that you bought from you know the high street or online or wherever it is you buy your pre-made, ready-made garments, so do let me know. Um, but I want to do this so that I can share with you how to wear it and of course for other people to do so as well. So if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and please do share. And always remember that when you are subscribing to hit the notification button because that way you'll find out when I upload videos. And I will see you next time and thank you for watching.